Hi, I'm Charlie Chapman, a developer advocate here at RevenueCap. And today I want to show you how you can easily create an auto-scrolling carousel using RevenueCap paywalls. Let's jump right in. So as you can see here, we have uh, a paywall running in our simulator. And uh, this right here is the carousel that we're going to create. Uh, it auto scrolls and it's looping. It just keeps looping. There's three of these. Um, you can also click, of course, and manually scroll yourself. So let's jump into how to create this uh, with Revenue Cap paywalls. OK, so we're on our paywall template selector screen. Uh, I'm going to choose this second template right here because I like that it has these testimonials. And I think that'll be nice to just turn these into a carousel instead of a scrolling list. So let's click on that. Cool. So we're in our paywall editor now. Let's minimize some of these so we can kind of see what we're working with. OK, so um, right now, these are all just kind of in one big scrolling list. Um, and I want to turn all of these testimonials into a uh, carousel instead. Uh, first, let's make a little bit more vertical space. So I'm just gonna get rid of this entire text right there. Cool, whoops. I'm just gonna get rid of this entire text right here. So let's delete that. Okay, cool. Now there's a little bit more space. And then um, at our top level, I'm gonna add a new component. And here you'll see our new carousel component, which is going to make it really easy to add that uh, horizontally scrolling carousel. So let's hit add and it'll put it at the bottom and you can see the carousel has these three pages. And if I click on any of these pages, it'll scroll to that section and let us work on that page. Um, you'll also notice that uh, if I click off that it cuts off right here. And that's because um, all of these are inside of this main vertical stack. Um, and that vertical stack has some padding. And so that's creating padding here. So we need to get rid of that and apply the padding to each section individually instead. So I'm just going to, whoops. So I'm just going to remove this padding. So that was 24. And then I'm just going to add it to each one. Um, you could instead wrap all the other elements in a V stack so that they're, you're only setting this once, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to, set each one of these manually 24 okay cool and now our carousel goes edge to edge and you can see the scrolling is like smoothly going to the edge of the screen perfect okay cool so now let's look at this carousel um, component and see what the options are on it so a lot of this is similar page alignment spacing that kind of thing um, and we'll look at the spacing and peak here in a second, but first let's look at open on. So this is, uh, which one of these pages it starts on. So if you wanted it to start in the middle, for example, um, you could do that. And then this interacting, uh, interaction section is pretty interesting. So, uh, if I set start again after last page loop, you'll see on the left side, the last component will actually show up. And the idea here is that you can endlessly scroll um, and once you reach the end, then it'll just scroll to the beginning one. So it kind of creates an endless scroll. So you can turn that on. And then there's also this automatically advances pages option. If you turn that on, you can set some um, times and it will automatically scroll. So when you open this, it'll just start scrolling um, automatically without the user having to touch it. They can still interact with it. Uh, they're not prevented from interacting with it, but it will cause it to happen automatically, which for a paywall or marketing type page is especially really nice. Cool. Okay, and then the last thing to talk about is the spacing and peak. So this is affecting uh, basically this section right here. So you can see right now our uh, our carousel pages don't line up perfectly with the 24 spacing that we had added um, in here. And so that is determined by these two elements. So let's set both of them to zero so that I can kind of explain how each one works. So the spacing is how much space is between each element. So if we were to set this to 24, there would now be 24 pixels between this and the next element. And the next element would start right at the edge here. So if we scrolled between them, you'd see they kind of start right there. And there's nothing showing from that other element. So there's not really a good indicator that you can scroll other than this paging indicator. And so that's where the page peak control kind of comes in. So if I wanted to, I could add 12 megapixels, 12 megapixels, 12 pixels of, uh, peak and that would stick these out um, into the into the view by 12 pixels but this right here is still going to be 24 so now this doesn't line up again so we need to knock this down by 12 to compensate for that 
And so that's how you'd end up. Um, that's how you get these to line up perfectly, but also have this peak. And actually that's a little too much. Let's do like eight maybe. Um, and then we need to add four. So that'd be 16. I think I did that math right. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, cool. So now our carousel is set up. So now let's put content into these. Um, these are just views like anything else. I can, right now there's a text uh, component that's just added automatically, but you can put whatever you want in here. So I'm literally just gonna drag these in here and then tweak them to make them work. So let's delete that. And then let's go into our testimonial and let's grab, so you can see there's three of them. Let's grab this one right here and just drag it into our first page. And now you can see it's sitting in there. Obviously it doesn't look great. So inside of here, there is a divider. Uh, we obviously don't need that. And then um, let's tweak this to make it look a little nicer. So let's add some horizontal padding, maybe, uh, 12 pixels and then you should probably do it to the top as well oh speaking of which uh, right now this perfectly matches but some of these are bigger so let's make this um let's make this page a little taller right now it's at 160 pixels let's make it 200 pixels whoops not 2000 200 there we go um and then align everything inside of it to the top there you go so that way each one of these will align a little bit better and there's 12 pixels of padding on the top and the sides cool uh, you can of course adjust corner radius you can change the colors uh border you can give everything you know a drop shadow or something like that if you want um, we're just going to go ahead and leave everything else kind of how it was defaulted and then i'm going to do the same for each of these next uh these next pages i'm just going to drag these in i'll fast forward it because it's going to be boring but i'm going to do the exact same thing to each one of these Okay, so now we have our carousel and there's three um, different pages, each with their own reviews. Um, one other option in here that I didn't talk about is uh, the page control. You can move it to the top or you can put it at the bottom or if you want to, you can just delete it entirely. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave ours on there. And yeah, so that's like pretty much it. So let's save this and see what it looks like and how it works on the simulator. So I'm gonna hit save. Whoops, I need to give it a name. We'll call this carousel example. And the offering's already set to temp, which is what is my default offering right now inside of my app. So we're gonna save and then hit publish. All right, and it's gonna tell you uh, what versions of the SDK you need to make sure that your app's on um, because some of these components are newer components. And so make sure that your SDK is updated to the latest version. And I'm going to say, yes, I do support those and confirm. All right, cool. And now if we open our simulator and open our app and go to upgrade. All right, well, you can see I didn't really design this super well because I didn't give a lot of uh, vertical space. But so you can see we have this nice looking carousel with three different views. It's auto scrolling between them and continually scrolling. If I want to, I can interrupt it and scroll it manually myself to look at them. Um, yeah, so super, super easy to add one of these carousels. You can of course put all sorts of more complicated views in here. You can get rid of this background and you can add your own images. You can do whatever you want. This view inside of here was a completely custom view that was built for, uh, for this template and I was able to just kind of shove them in there. So there's a lot of flexibility in this view um, and we think you're gonna love it. For everything else about uh, Revenue Cat paywalls or anything Revenue Cat, you can go to revenuecat.com.